first I'm going in with this shade called Unseen. It's from the Melt Dark Matter stack. And then taking this Morphe brush, I'm just gonna apply this into my crease, making sure to blend it as I apply it. And now taking this reddish brown shade called Foley, this is a MAC eyeshadow. And then using my MAC 217 brush, which y'all know I love, I'm just gonna be applying this in my outer V or my outer corner, and then just blending it upwards into the outer crease area as well. And then going back in with that Morphe brush, I'm just going to make sure that I blend all the colors together. And now going in with my favorite type of color, y'all know this color is my jam. This is Enigma, also from the Melt Dark Matter stack. And with my Zillium 777 brush, I'm just going to apply this shade all over the lid. Now normally because I have hooded eyes and small eyes, I try to just keep the color only on the lid. But for this look, it's okay if you blend it upwards into the crease because we're going to blend everything anyway. So going back in with that MAC 217, as I said, I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines. Blending is always key. And now I'm taking one of my favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. This one is Porter. I'm just going to be using my finger to apply that over the shadow. But this time I'm making sure to keep the color only on my lid. And now I'm going in with the black shade called Dark Matter and then using a pencil brush. Um, this is my Sedona Lace Pencil Brush. I'm just going to be applying that right there on the outer V. And now again with that Morphe brush, I'm just going to make sure to blend that out. Blend, 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 never gets old. Blend for your life, child. And I'm taking the lightest shade from the Dark Matter stack. I believe it's called Blur. And then taking this blending brush, I'm just going to be applying it as my under brow highlight, but also using it to blend out the colors. And I applied my wing off camera because I could not get it to work on camera. I was all out of focus. But I'm using these Violet Voss Unicorn Flare Lashes. I love these. And now for foundation, I'm taking my Estee Lauder foundation, which I know is holy grail, but I'm going to be mixing it with this L'Oreal Infallible foundation just because my Estee Lauder foundation is more of my darker summer foundation. And then I'm just using this e.l.f. blending brush. I love this brush, but y'all, it sheds like nobody's business. Anybody else have that issue? And now for concealer, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And then using my Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to blend that out. So now I'm going in with the Nika K Contour Duo. And I'm just going to use the shades in that duo to basically bring back some warmth to my face and define my contour. For highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I'm using bronze and tourmaline. And y'all, when I say I have been loving these shades together, the glow is way too real. And now for lips, because y'all know I love to mix my lip colors, I'm going in with two ColourPop lippies. The first one that I'm using right here is Chateau, and it is one of their Matte X lippies. And then I'm going in with Bichette. I was going for a vampy look, but honestly, this wasn't really giving me the look that I was going for. So I decided to go over those two colors with NARS Train Blue and then I ended up getting that more vampy color that I was looking for. And the finished look.